more details um, of the uh, Mi 4i and also to show you not only the outside but the inside of the device uh, which is something that I'm personally very very proud of uh, on behalf of our team. So the, I mean, the one thing that I wanted to talk about first and foremost is, um, is actually how compact the device is and this is actually pretty extraordinary. Uh, do you guys know the Nexus 5? Who knows the Nexus 5? Yeah. So the Nexus 5 is, was launched now almost two years ago. And Nexus 5 is a device that everybody loves because it's very compact. Right? It's, it's a 5-inch device but it has a very, very small body. So we wanted to take that same concept to a new level. We wanted to build a device that was as comfortable to hold as Nexus 5 but that was actually even thinner and have a much, much bigger battery than the Nexus 5. Um, do I, should we do translations or we stay in English? Just keep it going. 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 So, um, and the only way we, we could achieve a device that is 130 grams, right, which is like I said, comparable to the iPhone 6, which is 129. Um, and it's so thin, it's less than eight millimeters, is through a lot of engineering breakthroughs. And the only way to show that is to actually show it inside. So I've got my tools here. Uh, so I'm actually going to uh, do a live uh, teardown for you guys. Um, right, you are. First of all, I should turn it off. So you can see it works, okay? It works. So we're gonna turn it off. Power off. And we're gonna go straight in. So this is not something that everyone should do at home, but you guys are more than welcome to tear to teardowns of your devices. Just make sure you do the review before you do the teardown in case you're not able to put it back together <laughs> for some reason. So this is going to take a little bit of time because I have to take every single one of the screws out. Um, so Don, do a little bit of. Do you want me to do my thing? Yeah, yeah do your thing. Uh, okay, so I want to learn Chinese. So, because we also did this work in India. First, I want to emphasize that all of the tools we used were made in India. We talked about it many times. It was the highest level of engineering. Uh, including these tools, they are also very expensive tools. So, if you look at this device, every part is the most expensive tool. And then, this device is actually the most expensive tool. 啊，然后这个其实呃 ，Hugo 通常会花差不多至少两三分钟吧，把全部的螺丝都拿出来。然后可能啊、呃，他刚才也就会强调，就是这是一个很啊、呃、超超窄的一个呃手机。呃，我们现在要拆开来，这个这一块就是里面会有主板，我们有把主板拿出来，然后也可以对比那个小米 Note、小米四的一些别的主板。然后为什么主板就是一个双面主板做的这么窄的原因，是因为我们想留多一点空间，所以可以弄一个比较大的电池。然后电池就是在这儿嘛，呃，对呀，这个可能需要再花多一点时间。So many。那主要想留很多空间啊、呃，所以可以有一个比较大的电池的原因，是因为啊、呃，我们可以把那个电池再弄得更薄，所以全那个手机都做得非常薄。然后另外一个就是你看到这下面这个部分，其实我们等一下也会拆开来。这下面其实有另外一个主板，就是第二个主板。然后，如果你看这个两个主板，其实两个主板是当然是比一个主板贵，也是也也有很多别的东西，比如说你需要现在拉几个线，从底下这个主板拉到上面这个主板。呃，我们在里面，我们一拆开来的时候，你以为看到就是其实里面是非常整齐，就包括那个线、那个螺丝，全部的这些东西都做得非常好，所以。怎么说？就是如果你从外壳只看手机的话，可能会感觉大部分的手机也看看起来差不多一样，就是都是方块的手机。可是如果你一拆开来，其实里面会非常不一样。So the reason why we have so many screws is because we want to make sure that、uh, the device is actually very, it feels very solid in your hands. Uh, there should never be an area that you press and you feel like it's a little bit loose, you know, or you hear it goes like No, it has to be perfectly perfectly sturdy and of course more screws cost more money It also it takes longer to make the device. It takes longer to open it if you have to service it, but that's important uh, 
you miss? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you lose that. Um, so this is the top motherboard um, or PCB. This is a bottom PCB. So the first challenge that we had here um, when building this device um, was making sure that we made as much room as possible for the battery. And in order to do that, we had to build a very, very compact uh, PCB or motherboard. Um, so this is actually the smallest motherboard that we've ever built. I'm actually going to show you um, what this looks like. So, a rough overview of you know, basically what I usually talk about is the fact that it's a dense motherboard and uh, they put the battery in. So this is um, the Mi 4i motherboard, all right? And it's, <laughs> and it's an incredibly, incredibly uh, compact and dense motherboard. Uh, right, so you can see both sides of it. Uh, and it's actually considerably smaller uh, than even the Mi Note motherboard. So if you look at the Mi Note, this is Mi Note, this is Mi 4i, side by side. Right? 